Hey, welcome back to From Scratch Ranch in this series on building this lean-to tack shed on the side of our horse shelter here. In this episode, we're gonna build out the three doors and get those installed. So let's get started. So what we're gonna use to make these shed doors are the cutouts of the T111 siding that we used on the side of the shed. So these are the cutouts of those doorways. So I've got three of them here. We're gonna use those as the doors. And I got two by fours here that we'll use to frame out the door. And then some cheap uh, one by four furring, or fur strips, that uh, I've painted black with the black lacquer fence paint. And that will be our trim to trim out the door and make it look nice. So uh, we're gonna frame out the door with a uh, lap joint to give it some more strength. And basically what that is, is just taking the two two by fours and cutting out the top part of one two by four and cutting out the bottom part of the other, overlapping them, screwing them together and gluing them. And that will create a much stronger corner joint to keep it from sagging and racking and, and whatnot. So uh, with that, let's get started. Out here is 32 by 62. And the frame that I want to build this on, I want it to be just a little bit smaller because of the swing of the door. I want to have enough room. I also want to correct uh, any kind of um, irregularities on the edges here and make sure everything is perfectly square. So I want to cut this down to uh, by a quarter inch or so. Um, I'm probably going to go 31 and three quarters by 61 and three quarters. So you got a quarter inch um, gap. And what I'll do is I'll cut my two by fours uh, to those lengths, exactly. The 32, uh, 31 and three quarters and 61 and three quarters. And then frame that up, build that frame first, then set it on top of here, square everything up, and I'll trace my outline around and cut off any uh, excess. And that way I'll have a perfectly square rectangular door. All right, so out of my pile of scraps here, I'll see if I can find some 32 inches or so. Yep, so I can use a few of these for my top and bottom and cut them down using the chop saw over here. and I need two of them. All right, just using this first one I cut as my template. For my long side, I'll have to use these full-size two by fours. Just checking to make sure. Okay. So then I have to just cut out my lap joints on each corner. And so each lap joint here will be on opposite sides. So on this side, for example, I might cut out the top portion, but then on this side, I'll cut out the bottom portion. And then I'll do the opposite on this one. Top side, bottom side, top side, bottom side, top side, bottom side. So that each board will have the opposite piece cut out. And then that should lock everything in place nicely. Take one end here. I'm just gonna use a scrap two by four to get my width. Line that up, draw my line on that side. So I'm gonna cut out this part. And then on the opposite side over here, I'm gonna just flip it over and mark this side, cut that out. And then next, I need to figure out my depth because I only want to cut half out. So we know that two by four is one and a half inches thick. So I need to cut three quarters inch 
out. That's my halfway mark. Now I can draw the line here just to kind of give me a guide. But what I'm going to do is set my blade height on the table saw to cut that depth. All right, so first measure my height. Okay, that looks good, right? Three quarters. Let's check it against my line. So to make this work, I'm just gonna turn the saw on. Once I turn the saw on, and I'll just push my board through it over and over and over again and cutting out little pieces until I get this whole thing cleared out. So it looks like the right depth on both sides, straight across. Now sometimes you could put a guide on here to make sure you don't go too far, but I cut my first line. That's kind of my, my edge. And then I'll, now I can just clear out that way. And I'll have to freehand the whole thing. Not bad. So I was just going back and forth like this at the end just to kind of knock off anything extra. Looks like a pretty good joint. Okay, now the other side. Push all the way through. So don't kick back. So I got a pretty good straight line. I'm gonna start from the end and work my way this way. There we have both sides. Opposites cut. It's our first board done. Not too bad. Got quite a few left to do though. It is a little tedious because it's all freehand and knocking all that out, but it's definitely gonna be worth it. This will hold together very well. All right, so now that I got my two short sides done, like so, now it's time to do the two long sides. So now we have our two long pieces and two short pieces. I'll just make sure everything fits together. You can see this one's over and under, and I got my under and over. Yeah, it fits nice. And then my over and my under.
Yeah, that looks really good. See the nice, nice joint there. All right, so now just put a little glue, wood glue. Set our pieces in place. And screw it in. And do the other side. Get low on my wood glue here. All right, and then I can just make sure it's square. Okay, now we'll just flip this over. Flip this part over and trace our edges. So I know this is square that I just built this frame. So I'm just trying to get it as close as I can to these edges and see where I'm off on the actual siding part. Just double checking the square before I cut anything. Good, all right. my frame back down. I'll put my siding on top of this. It's the outside of the door. Make sure everything's lined up right and then I'm gonna screw the siding into the frame on the outside. Now that everything is lined up a good edge here. You can screw this down. Now 
I know I'm screwing into the top here. That's gonna show, but I'm gonna actually put that black trim around the edges. So these screws will be under that trim. All right, so before I put the trim on the top here, in the front, flip this over, and we're gonna put a cross brace from corner to corner here to also help with racking so it won't rack. The door's getting pretty heavy now, so I do have heavy duty hinges to hold this up, but it's, a, it's gonna be a solid, solid door. So I'm just gonna lay this over the top corner to corner and I do want the corners to have contact with both sides so I really want it in the middle and I'm going to cut to a point on each side of these now I could go the other way around and just do you know one side like this on both ends but I really want the extra support where I can screw it into both of these side members here so it's a little bit more complicated to cut the the uh, to a point here, but worth it. So I'm just kind of getting a general, making sure I'm somewhat close. And then I'll use my speed square here to uh, kind of just look down on it and get close. And this should be a right angle here. Just to double check. Yep, good. All right, take this over to the chop saw. This one's probably too, yeah, I don't think I can cut that on here. I'll have to use my, oh, maybe. Nope, can't do it. Okay, these other tighter angles, I'll use the circular saw. See if this fits. <laughs> like a glove. So now I'll throw some screws in, toenail them into the sides here, and then I'll flip it over and run some screws down the front side on the siding. Flip it over. And this thing is getting heavier. And we'll run some screws from this corner to this corner. Let's see. Gotta 
again, I'm gonna cover this part. I'm gonna do the same thing on the front side with the cross member and the framing around with the black trim. So that'll hide these screws. <laughs> Perfect for stuff like this. All my trim pieces set where they need to go. I'll use my finishing nailer to finish this off. I'm gonna go around the corners first just to make sure everything stays where it should. Okay, that looks great. So the edges here, all these rough edges, um, I will paint this black once I get this hung up. It's just easier to do once it's already hanging by its hinges. Okay, next is the hardware. We have the two hinges and the handle. So now the hinges. So on the top hinge, I'm gonna set this and just a little bit of a gap there. I need to have this parallel to this line here. On the, and I want it center on the top. Like so. And then I've got this metal straight edge. I'm gonna place on top because I need these hinges to be exactly lined up on the same plane. If this isn't lined up right, then the door will hang a little crooked and won't swing quite, quite right. Okay, so I think I'm lined up really good now. Nice and straight. I'm gonna drill a pilot hole first. Cause I don't wanna crack the wood. Oh, that one's secure. This bottom one. Make sure I'm lined up right. Yep. Okay. Now I can finish it off. These other two holes on each.
first door done. All right, got all three of them done. One, two, and three. So we're all ready to get those installed out on the shed, get that thing closed in. So I've got a gap, you know, around the door here that the elements, rain, wind can get through. And also since the uh, latch on the outside is more of a bolt style latch and not a hook, um, this door can swing inward. So I don't want to do that. Um, I don't want it to swing inward. So I need to put a stop, like a jam here. So I'm going to put a piece of trim on the inside here as a stop. So this door has something to hit against and stop. And also it'll provide, you know, weatherproofing. I'm gonna check on the outside, make sure it's all flush. Hey, Cookie. Yeah, it looks good out there. Now it's got that nice jam in there. Stop. See now it can't go in like this one. See how it goes in like that. That's why it needs to stop. And I can also put some weather stripping on here if I wanted to, to make sure no moisture gets in.
All right, there you have it. Three shed doors built from scratch and installed on this tack shed. And there we have Michaela, who came at the last minute to help out. <laughs> Just in time, right? Well, she's here to help us in the next episode because the next episode, we are going to mount the mounts for the saddles, horse blankets, the bridles, all the tack that we have, the shelves in there. So that's the next project. So stay tuned for that one. So thanks for watching. Make sure you follow us on our, all our socials at From Scratch Ranch on Facebook, Instagram, and here on YouTube. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Yep, and so until next time, keep living the dream. Adios. Bye. <laughs>